So I decided on this video, I'm going over just totally about working out while you're on a cruise ship, or especially at the Royal Caribbean Wonder of the Seas. When I got ready to do the Wonder of the Seas, now I love to work out, and yes, I work out while I'm on vacation. I, I could not find any videos that specifically talked about what you need to know about working out on a cruise ship. So I wanted to make this video. Now the first thing you need to know that they have paid classes and they have classes that are free to anyone. They do have a big gym. But from our experience so far on the trip, the gym part is packed. Like, you can't even get, like, one machine. You just have to stand in line for each machine. Now, I like classes. Bill likes free weights. He is not working out today because it's just too much trouble to try to work out. Now, if you decide you want to do the classes, it's better to go ahead and get the unlimited package because once you do at least three classes, it pays for itself. If you aren't planning on doing more than three classes, then I would not do it. Now, another thing that you need to know is the spin classes are the most popular and that you will need to sign in and that you have to put that you do have an unlimited package so you get priority to those classes, but they do fill up really fast. So you need to even a day or two before the class go up. Now in the app, you can mark whether you want to put it on your calendar, but that does not alert them. That does not tell them that you want to be in that class. That just marks it so it reminds you. So today is day one and at the gym, it is totally packed. Now, past cruises that we've done, I've noticed that every day, less and less people work out, but today, everybody is in, but it's day one. So they have a super nice walking track here on the boat. It goes all the way around. It is on a lower level. So unlike some of the other boats that I have been on, normally you're like roasting in the sun. It is super hot. This is not the case at all. There's not as many pretty views as you're walking around because you're looking at the lot boats. But when you get to the back of the boat, it's really pretty back there. A lot of people are sitting and looking and they got chairs back there for people. And then there's little peekaboo spots where you can see the ocean a little bit here and there but it is very comfortable to walk the walking track and it is super nice So now they do have a smoothie bar, but don't get really excited. It's just okay. It is included in your drink package. If you get a drink package. So this morning I did the spin class. It was so cool. It was great. They turned out all the lights and had like black lights. So it was really dark in there. It was very challenging, but yet I love it, like that. I love spin. So I would highly recommend if you're coming, you can do spin. And they have shoes that you can use if you are used to that. So I like to be totally honest. The first day of spin, the guy that did it, he's like from Australia or whatever, he was awesome. Like he was very informative, very instructive. Then yesterday, the guy that did it couldn't understand anything he said, so I kind of just did 
my own thing because I had no clue what I was supposed to be doing. And then today, the girl that did it, she at least told us what to do, but it was so boring. She didn't talk. I want to be honest about that. The spin, for me, first day, if they had all been like the first day, I would have loved it. The other two instructors just weren't as informative as I would like in spin. So, just something for you to note. One thing to take really note about in the gym, the first day was packed. The second day was somewhat packed. And now here at the end of the cruise, nope, there's just not a lot of people in there anymore. I'm sure people start out very motivated and lose interest real quick. And I did work out every day but one day here on the ship. But you do so much walking on the ship. It um, definitely gets you some exercise without you even knowing it. Another way that you can work out on the ship without like working out is always take the steps. You can have that extra dessert if you try to use the steps instead of the elevator every day. I do think Royal Caribbean had some great options for working out. They had like tons of schedules and different things every day. They had some that were free, some that you had to pay for. You could do the full membership, which if you do full workouts, it, is, it pays for itself. I can't remember how many workouts I've done, but I'm going to spend today and again tomorrow. So those, I mean, I know I've at least done five or six classes that would have been paid for. So I hope this video helped you out because the reason I did this video was because I couldn't find anything that specifically talked about working out on the cruise ship. Everybody toured the workout area, but they didn't even the ins and outs of the classes. <clears throat> while I feel like it is possible to lose weight while you're on a cruise, the important part is that you just have fun on your cruise and do what you want. Now, I started out, I was at 134.5 when I got on the cruise, and when I get home, I'm gonna weigh, and I'll put on here how much I weighed. I feel like I didn't lose any weight, but I definitely didn't gain any. There's so many activities to do. You don't just have to work out in the gym. There's ping pong, they have pickleball, and they play basketball. very informative if this was something you were looking for. Please like the video if it helped you out. Till next time, like and subscribe.